First of all, I want to thank everybody for keeping up with my MBA vlogs journey. I upload a new MBA vlog at the University of Phoenix every week. So make sure to like and subscribe to keep up with the vlogs. Well, as you guys know, I passed my previous class, which was managing in a changing environment with a hardworking A. So I just started a new class and it's called People and Organizations. It's basically a class about interpersonal skills and self-awareness needed to motivate people in a workplace. Long story short, it's basically a class about HR. And just in case you guys didn't know, HR stands for Human Resources. You know, to me, I thought HR was just about like reporting harassment in a workplace or if you wanna look for a new position at work, they're the ones to talk to. But no, according to this class, HR is in charge of a lot of things. So right now I'm on week two, so I'm gonna show you the topics that we're going through. Okay, so this is my screen right now. So we're gonna go to course syllabus. So for week one, we're talking about human resources management, which is the roles, responsibilities, and the legal environment. And right now I'm on week two. So right now we're analyzing and filling jobs with qualified, motivated people. So far the class is very interesting and the information is very useful. But the class has been very challenging for me because the projects and assignments that I've been assigned to have been just really hard. But the quizzes for this class have been so difficult. Let me show you. So as you can see right here, this is all my assignments for week one. This is usually a big project, so I got a 46 out of 50. And this was one of my quizzes, which I got an 18.9 out of 25, which is a C. I was so upset. So then I'm working on week two right now. So I got a 21.88 over 25, which is a B. So I hope week three, I get an A. When I took that quiz and I got a C on it, it was a big heartbreak. But like I used to say when I was doing my bachelor's in accounting is C's get degrees. But for my master's program, I think you can't even get a C. I think you have to get a B or higher, which is extra stressful. The one great thing that's been helping me like get through these classes is that me and my girlfriend have been going to the library a lot more because it's, a, it's quiet there and you can just concentrate there. So I've been doing a lot of my readings there and gives me time to really work on my assignments and the projects right away. But yeah, I really recommend going to a library because like I said, it's very quiet and I just love the fact like there's power outlets. I used to go to Barnes and Nobles to study and there was no power outlets. So I had to make sure all my laptop and um, my phone was fully charged before going to Barnes and Nobles, which was very annoying. But at the library, there's a lot of outlets, there's a lot of space and it's great. Also, it's very quiet. And I know, yeah, I can probably study at home, but you know, I really like to go elsewhere to study. But so far, this class is really great. The professor is really cool because he replies to all my messages right away and he grades assignments really quick. As before, my previous professor would take like close to two weeks to grade it or something like that. And it was, I, I really like to know my grade within like the next day or two. But yeah, my professor, he's great. He grades really fast and that's one thing I do like about him. But he's also a little bit more strict and his quizzes are a little bit more difficult. And that's why I'm getting those C's and those B's. The one great thing about doing my MBA program is that I can use a lot of this knowledge and everything that I'm learning into the workplace that I work at right now. It also helps me understand of why business decisions actually occur and why anything really goes on. But yeah, so far so good. I actually went ahead and started doing week three's assignment, which is actually a lot more interesting. Week three is training and developing employees. And the reason I say that this uh, next week, uh, week three is a little bit more interesting, it basically shows you how to motivate uh, employees and how compensation works, bonuses, and just a lot of ways to motivate employees because developing employees is the best thing you can do in your workplace to make the whole organization successful. I believe that if you work in a workplace, you have to make sure that you uh, work as a team to succeed and divided, you all fall. All right guys, so that's the end of this video. That's all I had to say about this class. Again, I do post every single week about this MBA vlog and I'll go more in detail about it and how class is going and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm gonna do a prank on this professor like I did in my previous professor about the floppy disk, but if you haven't seen that video, the video will be up there. So yeah, I'm not so sure if I'm gonna do a prank on this professor because he grades a little bit uh, more strict. So I also don't want uh, my grade to be affected because since I already got a C on one of my quizzes, um, I can't afford another C. I can't even afford a B. Like I need to get pure A's. 
But you never know. You never know. It might happen. I may prank this professor. But I may need some ideas because I really don't know what I'm going to do for him. I mean, I could also prank him with a floppy disk, but um, I also don't want that same content to show again for you guys. You know what I mean? So I kind of want to do a different prank. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes or what we come up with. Or if you guys write something in the comments like, hey, you should do this. I'll probably do it. Probably. I mean, I will do it. Alright guys, so that's the end of this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys soon.